Hello and welcome to uh, today's video. My name is Julius Murega, the founder and CEO of Royal Seedlings Murega. We are the leading uh, producer of fruit seedlings, including has avocado seedlings, mangoes, pixies, and the rest. And um, in this video, I want us to uh, uh, dive deep into one of the most exciting uh, agribusiness opportunities in Kenya and Africa, and that is has avocado farming. Well, uh, if you have ever wondered uh, how to grow has avocado successfully, uh, you know, what the market looks like and the mistakes that many farmers make, you are at the right place. And today's video is very important. So take a pen, be keen and, uh, you know, take some notes uh, to get uh, this session done. By the end of this session, uh, you'll have a practical knowledge uh, and insight that can help you you know, turn your avocado farming venture into a profitable agribusiness. So grab your notebook, let's get started. Um, so, I know you can ask yourself, uh, why has avocados? First, uh, you know, has avocados are one of the most in-demand fruits globally. And uh, this for many of us, Kuno Kenya, you know, it stands as one of the most, you know, privileged uh, African countries to be, you know, the leading producer of has avocado uh, fruits. And uh, from Europe uh, to the Middle East and to Asia, consumers prefer has because of, you know, its extreme texture, you know, uh, long shelf life and rich flavor. What the flavor? You find that uh, has avocado is very sweet, has creamy texture, and uh, you know high oil content in it. Very nutritious. Uh, in fact, the demand for has avocado has been steadily increasing over uh, uh, you know the last couple of years, and Kenya is still uh, positioning itself as a major exporter. Uh, secondly, has avocado farming is high profitable. Uh, with the right management, a single mature tree for those who can attest. For those farmers um, who have been into this venture, it can yield up to a thousand fruits per year. And now that makes sense because if you have been uh, generous to that tree doing what is required of you, a thousand fruits. Is possible, you know, if you multiply that by a few trees or hundreds of trees that you have on your orchard or in your one or two acres, that's why you see most of the farmers, you know, shifting to us. Uh, thirdly, uh, Kenya has the perfect climate conditions, uh, and uh, some regions like Muranga, Kiambu, Nyeri, some parts of Western and Rift Valley, you know, have made it possible for. Most farmers to venture into this, uh, you know, uh, investment. Um, most of the people who miss uh, some of the steps really find it hard to understand, uh, you know, where really what happened, where did they make a mistake. Sorry. Uh, I want us to look at, uh, you know. Some of the steps to growing has avocados or any other avocado for this for this case. Uh, this is a step by step process of growing has. Please note, one is seedlings, and this is the most important thing when you are venturing into this uh, farming. Always start with grafted and certified has avocado seedlings. Whatever you are seeing in this uh, nursery. This is royal seedlings in Moranga. We usually produce seedlings that are, uh, you know, of high quality, you know, uh, pest and free, uh, rather than diseases, uh, free uh, seedling. Don't plant from seed. You know, you waste your years and get quality, uh, or rather poor quality fruit. Uh, you need to get certified seedlings, you know, that have. Uh, met the requirements you know that to guarantee uniformity 
you know, faster maturity and uh, you know the preferred market fruit because there are you know recommendations or requirement for you to get to the export market. Um, then you need to do soil preparation. Uh, mostly has avocados love well drained soils, preferably uh, sandy uh, or loam or even red soil that has a pH level between 5.5 to 6.5 and uh, these uh, you can have uh, soil testing uh, services uh, then you can take a uh, soil test and then you should be able to get uh, you know what is required of your soil what is missing what is in excess avoid water out areas avocado doesn't tolerate you know standing water all right then the third thing is planting you should dig holes about two by two feet that means a two by two by two so two by two is a square you know the surface of soil and then uh, two is two feet deep then you what you need to do is you mix the top soil with organic manure are you together up to that point and then plant the seedlings at the spacing of about five to six meters apart some might do five to six five by five five by seven that will be dependent or rather that will depend on how your farm is and your preferences then uh, watering and irrigation that one you have to make sure that uh, you have a uh, red uh, system uh, for you to do irrigation when required then pruning and management at one point you need to prune uh, you know uh, your trees to ensure that there is sunlight penetration and the shape of tree for easy harvesting remember you won't don't want to, ru to ruin your fruits then pest and disease control these are some of the episodes that will be you know picking one by one you know things to do with pruning you can find those videos later on uh, but I, I believe i have uploaded some of the videos then fertilization and flowering those are issues to do on how you can do you know soil test and uh, decide you know particular day nitrogen potassium and zinc nutrients that are required then harvesting uh, post and harvest uh, the harvesting and post harvest measures that are need to be uh, done uh, so in terms of the market we have uh, several exporters uh, and once you join cooperatives or join one of these uh, you know webinars that we usually have we should be able to link with, uh, you with uh, any buyer now lastly let's look at the mistakes uh, please please mistake number one don't plant ungrafted or cert uncertified seedlings always look for you know certified well hardened you know seedlings for your uh, investment then don't ignore soil and climatic uh, requirements uh, as i have mentioned do soil test uh, do some research, walk to several farms, ask experts, then don't do poor uh, spacing and overcrowding. Uh, avocados really love sunlight space, they need to get space uh, between or among themselves. Then uh, don't neglect your orchard management, you know, always make it clean, uh, pruning should happen, watering, pest management. If you do that, you are good to go. Then don't harvest too early. All right, exporters usually reject mature fruits, and uh, you know you, you you place that at a, at some point that uh, no exporter wants to export from Kenya. We don't want to go to that direction. So, raw seedlings we provide certified, uh, you know, crafted uh, has avocado seedlings that you know will guarantee you uniformity, you know, the fast maturity and uh, you know export quality. Uh, fruit reach us uh, now you can call us or email us at judas.morega at rossitings.com and then you should be able to see how well we can uh, you know uh, manage uh, you know your vision and mission i hope you have enjoyed this one see in the next episode we shall look at uh, you know more and more of what is required you as a farmer and i know you develop the best interest in this family Remember, as a farmer, you are the tomorrow's millionaire and billionaire. Have a good one. Bye.